Canes fans and my college football family. It's finally here. My second favorite time of the year. What's going on, Canes fans? I'm very happy to announce that the Miami Hurricanes 2023 live simulated season kicks off this Friday, June 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. This is going to be the fourth year doing this, and it's so much fun. It really is my second favorite time of the year. Obviously, first favorite is the actual season. I should have plugged this in at the beginning. If, if, depending on how I edit this video, I might take this clip and move it to the front, which is going to make this a little confusing, but it'll all make sense in the end. I'm very happy and excited to announce that on Saturdays, the day after the simulated game, I'm going to be doing a new series called Coop Plays the Miami Hurricanes, and it's actually going to be me playing the same team that we played on Friday, except I will actually be controlling it. Every single year, people always want to talk a bunch of trash, and they want to say, Coop, I bet you can't play the game. I bet this, I bet that. I am going to take control and actually play the game on Saturday, same time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do that every single Saturday as well. So it'll be just kind of super chill. We won't be breaking out the siren like we do for the regular streams, like on the Friday nights. But it'll be me just hanging out, talking Miami Hurricanes football while I casually actually control and play the game. But let's go ahead just for a moment here. And for all the new people, I want to break down what this actually is. I also want to provide some disclaimers for the live simulated season this year and just kind of let everyone know how this thing works. So again, the first game, Miami versus Miami of Ohio, is going to be this Friday, June 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Time right here on this channel. Now, if you don't know what this is, hear me out for just a second. Even if you think video games are dumb, you've never played a video game in your life or Maybe the last one you played was ping pong on the Atari. It's okay. What we're going to do is simulate each game on the Miami Hurricanes 2023 schedule, and we're going to go game by game, one game every Friday. So every Friday is going to be game day, and a lot of people treat it like the real deal. People actually go get pizza, uh, they go order wings, and they hang out, and they watch these. Each one is about an hour and a half in length. So it doesn't take four hours like an actual game. It's about an hour and a half. And what this is, is it's on NCAA 14, the one that we all know and love. And of course, we're anxiously awaiting the new one. But it's on NCAA 14 with the revamped mod. So that means it has updated graphics and it does have the updated 2023 rosters. This is done cpu versus cpu so coop's skill level does not play a part and what we do is we just simulate the game we watch it go play by play and we go week by week game by game and we see what record the miami hurricanes end up with in the simulated season now let's go ahead and provide a couple of disclaimers going into this thing because i get asked the same questions over and over every year Disclaimer number one is I need you guys to keep in mind that this game is almost 10 years old. So sometimes it does some wonky, weird stuff that's out of my control. The number one thing that I always remind people to do is take it for what it is and just have fun with it. If it does some kind of weird substitution or maybe it runs the same play two times in a row... I have no control over it because I'm literally not the one controlling it. So just sit back relax enjoy it and let's have a good time disclaimer number two not all of the players have their correct numbers this is due to in-game limitations that are beyond my control so just to give you an example on defense cam kenshin's is number five well on offense ray ray nathaniel joseph is also number five i cannot give both of those players 
the number five. Now, sometimes the actual game itself can do these things. It can give one player on offense and one player on defense the same number. But unfortunately, with the mod and everything that goes into this, I cannot give both of those players number five. What I have to do is make an executive decision and give the player that I think will make the most plays in the game, because they'll be seen the most, their actual number. And then what I tell everyone to do is just pay attention to the names on the back of the jerseys, and you'll also slowly become familiar with what their number is in the simulated season. I am happy to say that probably 75 to 80% of the players do have their correct number. And I did try to give as many of the big time players the correct number if I was able to do so. But unfortunately, I'm telling you that every single year there are people that are like, Coop, you don't know that this is such and such as real number? Yes, I follow the Miami Hurricanes football team. I cover them here on YouTube. I know what everyone's number is. Sometimes the game just limits what I can do. Also, the final disclaimer to keep in mind is that I cannot put Bethune Cookman into the game. I understand that there are ways to go through and like build a team and there are various different things you can do, but it bugs the game when I try to do so. So to play it safe, we're going to simulate 11 games, not 12. And what we'll do is really just assume, I know it's not safe to do that, but just assume that Miami will beat Bethune-Cookman this year because let's keep it real. We went five and seven last year and we still beat Bethune-Cookman 70 to 13. So I think it's okay for that one to assume that Miami is going to get the dub. So guys, that's really it. The Miami Hurricanes live simulated season kicking off this Friday, June 2nd, 9 p.m. Eastern time, one game a week every Friday, plus the Coop Plays version happening on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time as well. I'm really hyped because there are a lot of new people here on the channel that haven't participated in this, and I'm telling you guys, if anything, let me tell you this. If you've never hung out for one of these, Make it a point to at least stop by and spend 15 minutes. I challenge you to spend 15 minutes in one of these streams and see what you think about it before you form an opinion on it. Just remember that the idea is to have fun. We treat it like actual game day. So, you know, I literally have the siren out. We crank it every time we score a touchdown. You know, I'll put some clips on Twitter where we're like, man, Restrepo with the game winning catch. And the players see them as well. And I'm telling you, they absolutely love it. Andy was talking about it. Restrepo was talking about it. TVD sees this stuff. Th these players see this. Because, you know, they, they like, you know, being in a video game and seeing themselves make plays. And we like just enjoying ourselves and having fun because there's no college football in June or July, you know. So this is just a really good time. And this basically leads up to the real season when it kicks off. Last year, I remember we were simulating the ACC championship game. And literally that next Saturday was kicking off week one of college football. So this kind of fills that void. And before we know it, the real season is here. So guys, this is going to be so much freaking fun. I'm looking forward to hanging out every Friday and Saturday night with you guys. Let me know down in the comment section if you're excited about this thing. Also, feel free to ask any questions if you have any with this thing. Uh, but it's just going to be a really good time, and we're all going to enjoy ourselves. Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all on Friday.